What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lime Football and today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about hand fighting. So this video I'm not moving as much, it's basically more about showing you guys what to do, that kind of thing. So, hand fighting relates to say when you get a good punch on a guy and he does one of his moves to break your arms. So that means he's trying to get his hands off you so he can start working his moves. So, how we defend that is by getting rid of our hands and replacing them. So you have to do it, not at the same time, it has to be able to work different hands, different times, and you have to be able to feel when he's hitting you so you can counteract. It's a counter, it's a double counter, basically. So, how it works, say I punch, he breaks this arm, I need to bring it out and right back on again. So it's all about taking it wherever he pushes it and swimming it back in. So if he pushes this arm out for some reason, right, and back in. You see now work your arms in like this, work them out. Say he punches my shoulder, here, he tries to punch through here, we get it out, there. So he punches here, so I'm here, punch my shoulder, I need to get it out and outside of him. That way you can hold your ground. Right, so if you're setting, you should be able to just here, you pass that, you bring it, you bring it, you bring it, right? And you sometimes say if they do the double arm, you gotta be able to just, and that helps you re-engage and throw them off. So if I have a pass on you, I'm holding you, you break this arm, you're like this, you punch through, immediately, I bring it up and back, you're like this, and then you get hit here and it blows you right back. So it's all about countering their momentum and throwing them off. Again, a really great helpful pass technique that helps you throw a guy off and loses momentum. So a great drill for this, that so I can't show you guys a lot here, is I want you guys to close your eyes and then have people take your arms down as soon as they take them down you put them back up again, right? They break both, you put them back up again. They break one, you put it up. And so by closing your eyes, it helps you visualize it better and help you feel for it rather than seeing what they're doing and helps you gain better reflexes. So there you guys go. There's my video. I uh, hope it helped you guys out. Don't forget to try to practice. Ask your coach about drills for it and thanks.